Okay, here goes. <laughs> My installation, Ghost Forest, is an immersive experience um, designed to hopefully remind people of what's important in the world, plants that have created an atmosphere that allow us to survive. I think the three words that best describe my work are ephemeral, ethereal and immersive. My father was an, a photographer, my mother was a seamstress, and I sort of took the sensibilities that I acquired from both of them and merged them together. Growing up in the art environment that I did, I remember when I was about five years old, coming home from school and telling my parents that I wanted to be a teacher because they got paid for what they did. And then my parents sat me down and explained to me that my father got paid for his photographic work that he did. And I guess I was always surprised when I found out that not everybody's father made pictures. Some of this work is historical photographic processes using the cyanotype process, which is a sun printing process using contact printing. And many of the pieces have been toned with um, laundry detergent and tannic acid. Others are transfers onto sheets of mica. So I'm really interested in how many different ways they can approach the photographic medium. Another reason that I work with transparent materials is that um, I, was, I was born legally blind in my left eye and I see double all the time. I'm usually pretty good at shutting off what's going on in my left eye but frequently when I fix on somebody to talk to them, I'll see a ghost on their left-hand side. So it's kind of this ethereal experience. I think Denver Botanical Gardens as a setting for art is a really interesting environment because it integrates human aesthetics with plant aesthetics. And maybe people have an unexpected art experience when they come here. <laughs>